today's video. I'm gonna be eating like seven different Victoria's Secret models for seven days. super unhealthy lately. For example, I had M&Ms and chips for dinner yesterday. It's been really bad. I haven't worked out in three months. Let me tell you, I have gained so much weight in the past few months and I feel like shit. I'm always tired and cranky and all that. So I'm gonna be trying this diet, seeing if it's gonna work. Um, seems pretty hard because I'm a sugar addict. I'm Sophia, I'm addicted to sugar, I'm 22 years old. I have a severe problem, I crave it every second. And they eat not a lot of sugar at all, if any. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Um, so for day one, the first model that I'm gonna eat like is Stella Maxwell. She is beautiful, like stunning. Let's go, let's do this. Let's eat like Sal Maxwell. So this is some of the food I got from mostly Trader Joe's. For example, there's like a lot of veggies, lots and lots of salmon, hummus, almond butter, almond milk, avocados, granola. I noticed that they eat a lot of eggs, like scrambled eggs in the morning. So I got a lot of eggs and blueberries. Got like a whole roasted chicken because I'm a lazy bitch and I'm not about to like be cooking like slow roasted chicken all day. So here's breakfast. We just have two scrambled eggs and half an avocado. And I'm gonna put some everything but the bagel seasoning on it because it's really good. I'm also gonna be drinking a whole bottle of these a day because they drink so much water. They're always like hydrate. <laughs> so yeah. I'm gonna have Sal Maxwell's favorite snack to munch on. Which are the crunchy peas. Lunch is ready. I got salmon, salad, and some lemon to squeeze on the lemon on the salmon. And another one of Stella's favorite snack is almonds, so I had a handful of almonds. And for dinner, we had some rotisserie chicken and a big salad. Also, we just started watching Game of Thrones. It's really good so far. I know we're really late to the game, but whatever. It's day two today. We will be eating like Victoria's Secret Angel Romy Strigid. She's absolutely gorgeous, stunning, cute, adorable. And what's awesome about her is she has her own YouTube channel and I can actually follow exactly what she eats in a day. So that's gonna be sick. For breakfast, she said she had this chia pudding. So I have chia seeds, almonds, blueberries, almond milk, and protein. So this is breakfast. It looks interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna try a spoonful. For lunch, we went to a cute little shop and got an acai bowl. I got goji berries on mine, and Harrison got like a peanut butter banana one. He's doing this diet with me because he's a really sweet boy and he's really nice. I love acai bowls. They're so good and tasty, and I wish I can have them for lunch every day, to be honest. They're really tasty, and I think they're healthy. I don't know. So, Romy says she used to have like five to six or seven coffees a day, and she's trying to cut back, so I'm just gonna have a black coffee. I don't drink coffee at all, like ever. I'm just gonna try this, see if it's good. <laughs> I'm scared. Try it. Well, don't burn yourself. We're like going across this. Ew! Tastes like ass. <laughs> it tastes like, um, poison. So, this is Romy's lunch that she had in her video. Couscous, green beans, cabbage, salmon, avocado. Yum, 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 yum. Looks so good, I can't wait to try it. For day three, I'm gonna be eating like Miranda Kerr. So she actually has a video on YouTube where she explains what she eats in a whole day. And she says that she gets started in the morning with some hot water and lemon and that it boosts the immune system and the metabolism or whatever. Then I had her delicious breakfast smoothie that had almond milk, almond butter, spinach, mango, blueberries, and raspberries. She had papaya in hers, but I literally think papaya tastes like vomit, so I'm just gonna stick with mango for this one. Lunch was a basic bitch salmon and salad. Dinner was sweet potato mash and chicken, and then a nice big salad with halloumi cheese. So can we take a moment to look at Miranda Kerr's portion sizes like... <laughs> It's day four today. I thought I'd give you guys like a little update. I'm feeling actually really good. Like I thought the diet would be really hard and I would be like, no, I need snacks. I need candy. Cause like usually I always eat candy or chocolate or something sweet. But for some reason, this really satisfies me. I don't know. I think the calories are literally just enough for me. I don't feel 
hungry. I don't feel like too full. I feel like just right. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not starving. I'm not stuffed, but I'm good, you know? But anyways, today we will be eating like Kendall Jenner. Let's see how she eats, you guys. For breakfast, she says she likes to have avocado toast and scrambled eggs. This was actually really good and tasty and I liked it a lot. I'm editing right now and I'm feeling a little peckish so Kendall Jenner says for a snack she tends to have hummus and raw veggies so here we have carrots orange bell peppers and cucumbers so that was good good snack lunch was chicken and rice I also like to put some salad dressing in my rice okay don't knock it till you try it it's actually really good thank me later apparently Kendall Jenner likes to make this fettuccine and peas pasta apparently that's like the only thing she likes to make apart from her scrambled eggs so I'm gonna be making that for dinner today. Here I have fettuccine, onion, garlic, peas, a little bit of salt, pepper, parmesan, and lemon. Oh, yeah. It's ready. It looks pretty good actually. What do you think? Was it good? Mm. On day five, I ate like Jasmine Tooks. It started out really good until I got really hungry and craved carbs. So I ate leftover Kendall Jenner's pasta from the night before. Oops, my bad. Sorry, not sorry. For day six, I ate like Lindsay Ellingson. It was actually really nice, but at this point, I was feeling really like deprived of junk food, so it was kind of hard to be honest. Hello! Today is the last day of the Victoria's Secret diet. It's been really good. I'm gonna give you guys like the whole scoop, how much weight I lost, if it's worth it, if it's good, all that stuff at the end of the video. But right now, for the last day, we're gonna be eating like beautiful model Bella Hadid. Bella Hadid is an interesting one because you know how all the other models eat pretty like healthy and low calorie? Well, I found an article of Bella Hadid talking about what she eats and this is what she said, quote unquote. Right now, my diet is pizza. So recently that's all I've been eating. I promise you it's like every day. Or burgers, french fries, grilled cheeses. I promise you guys, she does not eat like that every day. I mean, I understand being really naturally skinny and being able to eat like that, but Bella used to look like this and now she looks like this. So it's kind of obvious she's dieting really hard and working out extra hard and she's not eating grilled cheeses every day, trust me guys. But that kind of makes us believe like why can't we eat burgers and fries every day and look like that? Cause like no one can, I'm sorry, but no one can eat burgers and fries every day and look like that. It's just not a thing. It won't happen, don't try it. It's not a good way to lose weight or get fit. But props to Bella, there's an updated version of what she said she likes to eat in a day and I'm gonna show you guys next. So let's go. For breakfast, Bella said she usually has an egg sandwich on a plain bagel, but I'm an onion bagel kind of girl. I will not go for the plain. So onion it is. We just got our juices. I don't know if I've ever had a green juice before in my life. This one has kale, romaine, cucumber, apple, and mint. Sounds toaster. So this one has CBD hemp and ginger. So it's a ginger shot. So Bella Hadid says that she likes to drink a ginger shot when she feels bad. I don't know. Which one should we try first? The the ginger shot? I think it's the, the ginger shot because I don't want that to be the last thing in my mouth. I'm supposed to just down the whole thing at once? Yeah, it's like a shot. Play okay. shake, rattle, and roll. Okay. Shake, rattle, and roll. Okay, cheers. Wait. Cheers. How was that? <laughs> and then it got good. I feel like I had a good thing curry. I want one. I want another one. Yeah. Oh, that CBD made me feel Whoa. so chill. So is this not a meme? Is this real? That's a real. Cheers. <laughs> wow. Cheers to that. We okay, liked so it. Is... Go Bella D. Yeah. Now we're gonna try the green juice. See how it is. Oh, it smells nice. It smells very refreshing. It smells like cucumber. It's so good. It's good. That's so good. Pretty good. It, it's not. It's not that good. The ginger shot was like mean. It's man. kind of gross a little bit. Like I like it, but then I hate it. What about you? It's all right. Like something about it is like unsettling. I don't know what it is. I actually like the ginger shot better than this. It was like spicy. It felt like it was like helping my immune system. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my white blood cells. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my immune system is thanking me right now. <laughs> my circulatory system. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, mm. thanks for tuning in for a juice review. This lunch was kind of gross, to be honest. I had leftover rotisserie chicken and whatever veggies I could find in the fridge. Don't recommend. Then for dinner, I had delicious pepperoni pizza, Bella Hadid's favorite. You can find like literally pictures of her eating pepperoni pizza like everywhere. It's like insane. This is me enjoying pizza after a long time of trying to be healthy. I really, 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 really enjoyed it. It was really good. Yum, yum, yum. So I finished the Victoria's Secret diet. What did I think? Let's talk about price. People would generally think that eating like that and buying salmon and like fresh vegetables and organic stuff is really expensive. But honestly, if you're just getting those foods and cutting out all the junk you would get, it's actually the same price or even cheaper, for me at least. We spent actually less money at the grocery store eating like that. And we had breakfast, lunch, and dinner for two people for an entire week and it was cheaper. Cause usually we go to the store, we buy all these like gummies and ice creams and all that like snack stuff and like microwavable food. That goes in like three days and we spent like so much money. Second, are the calories enough? I'm 5'4", so I think like to lose weight, that's a good amount of calories for me. Let's talk about cravings. As you guys know, I'm a sugar addict, we all know that. For the first three days, I was eating like salmon and all that stuff and it really satisfied me at first, but then, um, I think it was Kendall's day. I had that like pasta that she made and that kind of threw me off I was like, okay, that's really good like then the next day I screwed up and then I was like really craving sugar and all that At least have some fruit on you because they don't need a lot of fruit But I recommend adding fruit to this diet if you like sugar as much as me just so you can satisfy yourself Four. Did I lose weight? Yes, I actually did lose weight. I lost almost three pounds in a week, which is pretty freaking good so five do I feel good? Actually, I do. I feel a lot better, more energized. My stomach is less bloated. I wake up with a flat belly. Whose diet do I like the best? Honestly, I really like Stella Maxwell's, Miranda Kerr's, and Romy's. Those were really good. I really like the salmon in the salad. That's something I'm definitely gonna be putting in my diet. I'm really hypocritical because I just did this diet and now I'm about to go have a cheat day. So that'll be up, so go check that out. But yeah, um, I'm not gonna consider this a diet. This is kind of a lifestyle change. So I'm gonna be implementing these meals in my daily life. It's not really gonna be a diet. I'm not gonna count the calories or anything. I'm just gonna be eating more salmon, veggies. If I'm hungry, I'm just gonna snack on like veggies and hummus, like Kendall Jenner. And I'm not gonna bring out like a whole thing of chips. So it's little things like that. You don't necessarily have to diet to eat like this. This is just a healthy lifestyle change. And I feel like if you wanna be healthy, this is a pretty good diet. Except not Bella Hadid's, cause she eats grilled cheeses and pizza every day, I guess. No. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I'm so happy that you're here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye!